All right, and we are back with Super Mario World with HJA and commentator uh, the Great Todd Man. Uh, you're more than welcome to take it away. Hey, welcome everybody, and um, I'm HJA. I'm joined with uh, by the uh, Great Todd Man. He'll be doing helping me out with commentary here. Um, first, I want to thank you so much for meeting our incentive. Um, this was originally going to be an 11 exit run, um, and uh, the incentive uh, makes it into a little bit more of a meme category now, because uh, we'll be doing uh, in a six. Um, depending on how the run goes, um, you know, I have a 20 minute estimate if we have enough time and it goes well. Um, I do have a save um, where I can I can finish off Bowser, um, but you know, uh, primarily this is going to be an in a six run, so uh, hope you enjoy. This is going to be a fun run, y'all. I just learned what N6 is. I'm, I'm an, an 11 exit runner, and I used air quotes there because I'm not very good at the game, but N6. Now, this looks like a fun meme category. Oh, yeah, it's it's, it's going to be fun. Um, with that being said, I'm going to just do a quick three-second countdown, and uh, we'll get going. Um, timer starts at actually minus 2.2 .2 seconds from uh, when I hit uh, go. So three, two, one, go. So the timer actually starts when you can take control of Mario, which is that brief moment before the text appears. It gives you a chance to make all types of fun little poses. Yeah, like that. Where Mario's just <laughs> standing completely still. You can have some fun with this game. So this this level is, is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, not much... You could do, you know, a, a bunch of different things. I like to hold the shell for a while, hop on these turtle shells and, you know, make it, make and it your own. <laughs> that's the wonderful part about this speed run, that you don't have to be great at the game to make it look pretty. You can just look like you're professional at the game with about 30 minutes of practice. Exactly. All right. So, I mean, that's about as optimal as you'll be able to get that letter level. Uh, the next stage is where things get a little difficult. So I'll probably be a little quiet while I try to focus on this one. I'm doing a new strat here, too, that saves, like, you know, fractions of a second. So I don't know why I'm doing it. It's kind of dumb, but... Um. Oh, fancy schmancy over here. Now, this stage, even though it's very scripted, there's not any RNG that goes through it, it looks difficult, and it's a very pretty stage when you pull it off. Uh, any slip-up, and it could be disastrous for your run. However... It looks a lot harder than it really is. Looks like I made it. With the... Oh, 258. I didn't get the 259. I didn't so close, quite so close. optimize those jumps. You can save a little bit of time and get a 259 ending time if you, um, you know, really maximize your runs on the swings. I just didn't want to, like, run off of it and have a death early. This level, uh, pretty simple. Um, you're doing a bunch of full jumps here, uh, here you're doing smaller jumps as to avoid, uh, bonking into these ball spikes. Wow, that was not good. Alright, so I lost some time here. No big deal. Ooh! <laughs> that was close. That was really close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't quite make the, uh, that top platform there, but I only lost about two seconds, so. Next up, we get... Iggy's Castle. Now, this is going to be the first instance of the hardest boss in the game, um, and that is the doors. Yes. The doors are by far the hardest part of this game. So, um, I'm a Mega Man runner, primarily, and um, in Mega Man, I really hate ladders. So, I've kind of, you know, I equivocate, or equivalate like that. I just run past the doors, just like Mega Man can't get off or on a ladder. It's the worst. <laughs> We have, we have our opportunity for revenge uh, later. I think we have two more doors to go through. Three more? Three more doors. Is it three? I think you're right. Two in the ghost house, one in Bowser's castle. Aha. Now Iggy's pretty simple. Fireball, fireball, hop, fireball, and out he goes. All right, so far no major disasters. I hopefully didn't jinx myself. So while we're in this cutscene, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about my experience with Super Mario World. So when I was a kid, uh, I wanted a Super Mario. I wanted uh, Super Nintendo for Christmas. 
so Christmas came, I got a regular Nintendo. Um, which was great, you know, I'm glad I got to play the classic Mario series and whatnot. So the next year came, I'm like, alright, I want a Super Nintendo, please. And, um, we got a Sega Genesis. So, I mean, again, I got to play Sonic the Hedgehog, so that was great, but uh, I actually never beat this game until I started speedrunning it. And see, my story goes similar but opposite. I actually wanted the Genesis and got the Super Nintendo. So I had this in A Link to the Past. <laughs> nice. I think, I think, I mean, you got sort of like the iconic games there. Super Nintendo was an excellent system. Oh, yes. By far the best. In my opinion, of course, I'm, I'm sure plenty of people will argue. <laughs> so there, um, there's this thing called Fast Flight. I'm sure I didn't get it. Um, but there's four different speeds of flight you can get. Um, and it's kind of based on RNG. So there is some RNG to this game. This level is really hard. Now, this is probably the stage I mess up the most. And now underwater, Mario moves pretty slow. However, there's a trick to speed him up, and that's to hold on to something and carry it through the water. So HJA is going to grab that shell and try to maintain carrying that shell all the way to the end of the stage here. And made it quite a ways, quite a ways. All right, Revenge of the Doors. Let's go. All right. And here is the, for me, hardest stage in the game. It's a lot more technical than it looks. Yeah. Got it. Very nice. It is going to zim zoom bop right above them. Grab the P switch. No. Uh. Ah! You meant to do that. <laughs> I was swag. I, just, <laughs> I really didn't want to let go of that P block. And here's the grand entrance of Big Boo. Not much of a threat in this run. No, the, the smaller ghosts um, pose more of a threat because they, uh, you know, depending on where they spawn, you can accidentally bonk into them and it's not the greatest, but. All right, so we're going to do uh, a little zipping if we can. Uh, we're going to try to. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, nice one. Hey, we got a little one. There we go. Very nice. That was a pretty good second zip there. Thank you. Zip clip. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm terrible with my terminology, y'all. Now here's the second and final water stage of the run. Now this one is much easier. They give you a Yoshi to hold at the beginning. And you're basically just going to hug the top of the stage until the right time, and then we'll drop down and dip under the remainder of the stage for the secret exit. And I have an audio cue for when I dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Alright. <laughs> you got that stuck in my head. It's going to be there all day now. <laughs> Fantastic. Ow. And up we go. Hardest stage in the game, right? Look Hardest at how difficult stage. that was. Oh my gosh, the skill. Alright, this stage can be a little scary. Um, we'll do our best. And I'll be quiet for this one. So, that's not what we want to do. I just wanted to show you what the rest of the stage looked like. That's right. This is a, this is an exhibition after all. Yep. So, the key to that stage is that the game wants you to have collected all of the secret exclamation point blocks. I'm not sure of the name of them again. Again, terrible terminology. However, 
What we're trying to do is just fly under the stage and catch the edge of the platform. It's better than dying. Because then you lose your cake. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. First try. First try. I just wanted to show you the end of the stage. It's a really cool stage. So I didn't want you guys to miss out on it. It's part of the NS6 run. Yeah. It, the glitch doesn't work without it. Exactly. Yeah. We got to set it up. <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> You're supposed to fly through there. Um, Ooh, okay. But, you know, we didn't. So... Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. It's okay. And here we are. We're almost done. Ready for this? No! It, oh, no! Alright, that's bad. It, oh! 80% of the time it works every time. Oh, uh, yeah. That usually doesn't happen. That's never happened before. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna get this incentive done. That's right. So HJA is gonna go back, grab another feather. That's why we have that twenty minute. Cap. That's why we have that twenty minute estimate. <laughs> have the buffer room for a reason, right? Absolutely. There we go. Maybe I'll do the I'll get the flight this time too. That'd be nice. That's what we do. We're, we're here to discover new mess ups so you don't have to worry about it. Absolutely. You should be thanking us. There we go. Nice flight. And here we go. Game time. What? Oh, no. All right. All right. Again? What? <laughs> Didn't even know that could happen. I've never had that happen before, and now it's happened twice in a row. I mean, that's how marathons go for you, though, right? I wonder what happened to my fire flower. Remember, I had a fire flower, and, you know, I died, which is, is fine. It should, it should have been in my inventory. Right. Oh, well. You must have got some water on it. Yeah. That that wasn't clever. Y'all deserve better than that. Oh, I, it was fantastic. All right. Take take. This is our uh, first try. Take three. Here we go. Here we go. Got the cape going. And time to go in a six. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I apologize for this. This is, I don't know what's going on. Um, but I have two lives left. I, you know, I'll give it a shot. I don't know what's going on. I did it. I can't like, believe in your HA. Thanks. I don't know. Oh my goodness. We'll insert some science here about sub pixels and things like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting very unlucky. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like maybe my position is off a little. Um, too far to the right. I don't know. I'll try. But of course, in practice this morning, you know, I nail it like. Five times in a row. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we we took off, but apparently I accidentally hit up. So, climbing this. Those phantom up inputs, I tell you, they wreak havoc on me as well. Look at there. Even got the little swag cape at the end. There we go. Time. <laughs> So that's uh, in a six, first try. Um, so.
So yeah, you, you can't get out of this. Uh, so that's the meme category. That's 13 minutes, world record. <laughs> world record <pace. laughs> Come and get him. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I have enough time to finish Bowser off. I mean, I probably do. You know, um, I'll leave it up to... Uh... I think you're good to go ahead and uh, do Bowser if you'd like. You're under All right. All right. Let's do it. Well done. So this will take us to, to Star World. Um, which, you know, these levels are really short. Um, so we'll just quickly... Pick up the cape here. Uh-oh. I think, I think I messed it up. I did. I can't exit the stage. <laughs> That's okay. We can just clear the stage normally. Yep. Although I don't know that I've ever beaten the stage normally. I don't even know how you do it. Let's see. Yeah, you just keep going down. Sounds easy enough. Oops. Okay, well. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know that we're going to have enough time now. Uh, I blew it. I blew it! I thought you had a, a file ready to go on Bowser. Yeah, I thought that's where the save takes you. It apparently takes you to the Star World, so... Oh, well. All right, well... <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Um, All righty, then. That well, was... Thank you so much for the, the run, HJ. That was that was a really cool uh, meme category. <laughs> Getting stuck in the <laughs> six you. is really neat. Yeah, yeah, it's a little neat meme. So, Thank you for having uh, me, and uh, thank you for the donations. And I, I you know, keep, keep them coming, and uh, I know we still have a lot of incentives to go. Yeah, we still got a couple more to go, and... Uh... I just want to quickly mention that... Oh, sorry. Actually, I just want to let you do some shoutouts real quick first. If you'd like to do those. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, shoutouts to, um, you know, everybody that, you know, came and that, that's here watching. Um, shout out to the Mafia crew. Uh, you know, I know a couple of us have some uh, runs during the marathon and um, wish you guys some success. Watch, you know, make sure to check out uh, everybody there. Phantom Eye Krebel Star, uh, Vet, you know. Uh, we have a we have a lot of people. Moon is doing a, a task that I'm looking forward to watching the Mega Man Five. Um, so yeah, keep it coming. This is going to be a great event. It's going to last all weekend. Uh, thank you, Carter, for hosting this, and uh, thank you to everybody behind the scenes. You know, Ahmad and Manix, you guys have put in a lot of work. So definitely appreciated. Thanks again, HGA, and uh, we are going to be going to intermission here just very uh, br very briefly, and we're going to be swapping hosts over to Tainted Tally. So. Uh... The next run is going to be Panic Restaurant, any percent U.S. version by Laxus. Stick around, and uh, we'll see you there soon. See you guys.